So, Juliana lost her leotard that she needed for her dance. And it was gone for a really, really long time. Everybody around the house was looking for it. We looked in the costumes, took everything out of its place, looked everywhere, and looked in all of her drawers. And then finally, Mom was it, it, weeks just passed. We couldn't find it. We prayed about it. We prayed about it. And then finally, Mom said, I guess we have to buy it, Mariah. Look up. Look up the leotard. So I started looking it up. And right when I was looking it up. Because it was a special leotard for her competition, for her dance performance. It had to be like a special leotard. It had to be um, one that like, goes up around your neck. It had to be a very special one. And so I, I was searching it up. Mom told me the website to go to. And then right when I was doing that, Juliana, what happened? Um, so I said, Mariah, Mariah, come here. Yeah, I, I said, I'm, I'm about to buy, a, I'm looking up a new leotard for you. She said, no, come here. And then what, and then happened? what happened? I, I found it. It was in my pants. Yeah. But we looked in all the drawers. You did, I did. I think Jax, I think everybody did. We even looked in it in all our stuff. I offered money to the kids. I said, whoever can find it, I'll give you $5 because it will save me money. Like sometimes if you pray, he doesn't answer your prayers right away so that you have faith that he'll still answer them. And he was just testing our faith then yeah. that he will still help us. Yeah. Sometimes we don't always find everything though, huh? Sometimes we don't find it. Like everything. One. But he still gives, but he has a better plan if we don't find it. Yeah, but that was a pretty cool, that was definitely God saying, I have just created a miracle for you. Because of timing, right? Right when we were about to buy it. I know that God sometimes works through our faith. He always works yeah, through our faith. He always what? works through our faith. And I know that he works through our faith. Because you had faith when you were looking, but he wanted you to know yeah. yeah. Like we were like looking in my little tour. Not that stuff. Hi, Sunshine Nation. Um, I'm being a little bit of a baby right now. I haven't had a chance to run all week because we've had so much going on with Thanksgiving and everything and all my work I have to do. And um, I have to run 14 miles right now and I don't think I can do it. And I've got a little bit of anxiety going on right now. Okay. I might cry starting this run. I really want to quit and not even train anymore. There I am, I'm being honest, vulnerable, not feeling the best right now. I'll see you in 14 miles. It might take me a long time. She's running, she's doing her 14 mile run. It's not easy, but we're gonna turn around and we're gonna do it again for her. Yeah! Yeah, go mom! Ah, let's go! Here she comes! Yeah. Those 14 mile runs ain't no joke. That girl right there? Doing her thing. Okay, Sunshine Nation, I'm doing a little bit better. I, uh, I've run 10 and a quarter miles. So I have three and three quarters left. Right now, these last few miles, I'm walking a quarter mile or running a quarter mile. That really lifted my spirits a lot. Whenever they all came by and honked, and I realized how good encouragement feels. And that, man, I'm gonna go home and be my kid's cheerleader more. Cheer them on. You know, instead of telling them what things they've done wrong so much, I mean, you have to tell them something. I'm gonna cheer them on some more. 
anyway. Better get running again. Deep, deep woods. I feel like a bear is gonna jump out and get me any second. Bears and boar, wildcats live in these woods. I'm a little nervous. Next time I'm gonna run in the daytime. So, I have a mile and a half left and my calf muscles are cramping up super bad. Before I left, I was like, I'm just gonna run a few miles. I can't do it. I'm just gonna have to tell him I'm gonna quit. But I said a strong prayer before I left and I asked God to help me. And then he put in my heart that, what am I teaching my kids if I quit? So this is for you kids. I'm not quitting. It's so easy to make goals, right? And start, it's exciting to start a new goal. The challenge is whenever it gets hard, whenever you've been go doing the goal for a while and the newness of it wears off and the rugged day by day practicing, working out and training gets tough. There's a temptation to quit. So to my kids and to whoever else is listening, don't quit. When it gets hard, don't quit. When you think you can't do it, don't quit. When your muscles start to cramp up or your heart and mind and body are tired, don't quit. One mile left, 13 down, one to go. It hurts. But I can see the goal. I know I can do it now. So my toes are cramping through my feet. I can't even walk for a second. I know why. I usually run with Gatorade and have Gatorade all day before, but we ran out. I will never run this far again without Gatorade. You know what the cramp feels like whenever your toe like pushes straight down and it like locks? That's happening right now. Oh shoot. What is it, Juliana? <laughs> Juliana, that's cool. Oh, you turned the lights on? Wow, that looks pretty, Nana and Jaden. I, I did it. I, I put this. Good. And I got an idea. Oh, so wait, how do you how do you keep it on? Oh, you have to have that plugged in like that? Uh -huh. Oh, that looks safe. I love you. I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> Good job, girl. I was like, oh my yeah. gosh, Leanna. Give me some bumps. Boom. Well, God strengthened me again. I got rid of the cramps, the trolley horses, and I'm running again. I'm home. Thanks for joining me. It's nice talking to you. I made it. I'm gonna go cry now. That was hard. Oh, gosh, it's good to be home. Looks like they're putting up Christmas decorations. Aww, how exciting. Hi. Rachel's back from her run. You made it. I made it. What? That was the longest run of my life. <laughs> longest run of my life. Even though shaking, technically it I'm wasn't, cramping. but it was. Okay, it wasn't. But it was though. <laughs> It was very lonely. But when you drove by yeah. and cheered for me, oh, it was beautiful. It was oh, beautiful. good. Well, yes. I'm glad that it helped. It did. Could have used you to drive by a few more times. <laughs> I'm sure. If it's big, you like every mile. <laughs> oh, see. No, so we got the tree. The tree is being put up. Good job, guys. You're welcome. What do you think about that tree, guys? Put this one up. Yeah. This order it. Yeah, of course we will. Can we put the star up there? Yeah, we'll put the star up there. Uh, they carried mommy all the way through. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Oh, I can't breathe. After her 14 mile run, she couldn't oh, move her legs. Nice <laughs> and these three, not Jordan, those three boys, Tyson, Jackson, and Lou, Carry mommy to her bed. That was quite the experience. A little scary going over the couches. Sure. In between doorways, that was a little scary. How did we? I have no idea. Bye bye. Spread sunshine. Spread.